flowing into it. Uh, looks dark as night out here right now, and I'm definitely coming through the rain. I can look back behind me and uh, see through it. You look up to the southeast here, and you can almost see through it. I can see some stud appendages hanging down right now, and um, almost there, Mike. Just a little bit east here. A few more miles, but I should be out of the rain. Back to you. Okay, high-tension power pole. Right, P power pole, high tension power pole blown over east of Lawton. So again, you know, there might even be, you know, some type of vortex touchdown here uh, just south of seven. I mean, and Reed's really, really close to it right now. Uh, also, Mike, Mike, we need to go to Corey. let's go to Corey Inman up here near Alva. Let's go to Corey Inman and in Alva. Okay, check it out. There you go. Hey, what do we have here? Go, Corey. Yeah, Mike, we're about four miles from the northwest of Alva. We had a quick tornado touchdown there just, just off to our north. Uh, still see a little bit of spin on the ground as it moves out to the east. This, is, this should track just to the north of Alva. We are exactly four miles to the north of Alva, and it's about a half a mile to our north. People in Alva need to go ahead and take their precautions now. Okay, let's go over to Max 3. Let's show you where this is. You saw the little, the little the little spin up there right as we went to that picture. That was the tornado. And see, here's the hook right here. And the hook is definitely coming around. Let's back out here a little bit because Alva is going to be right there. There it is. Very, very close to Alva, right? So we got to watch this. Corey, stay with us here, buddy, okay? Stay with us. This is northern Oklahoma now, all right? This is northern Oklahoma. Take that a little further south there, Matt. Adjust it a little bit further south because it's going to be on the south side. There you go. So, Alva, you folks may be in the path of this developing tornado. You saw the little suction spot there right as we took the video. That was a little brief touchdown, and the hook is coming around right now. So, you folks in Alva, tornado precautions away from windows, interior closet or bathroom, storm cellar or basement would be good. That's from Corey Inman. A brief touchdown there to the west northwest of Alva. Very, very close. Look at the hook there, how it really tightens up there. That's the little suction spot that we just showed you there live from Corey Inman up here in Woods County. So tornado possible near and north of Alva. So very, very close, but maybe just north of Alva up toward Capron. From there, it's going into Alfalfa County, probably north of Cherokee, but this could be a tornado producer as it comes out of Woods County into Alfalfa County. So keep that in mind for you folks in northern Oklahoma. We'll come back to that here momentarily. Let's go back to the storm tracker. We're going to jump down now to the Marlowe storm. And a red line, center line, still the cone of danger for Marlowe, Evans County. Tornado warning for southeastern and east central Comanche County. There has been wind damage. There's been a flood rescue in western Lawton due to flooding. There's a flood advisory in effect for Lawton showing huge hail. Right now, computer cranking out softballs. Softball size hail or bigger is what the computer's cranking out with this supercell with a tornado warning in effect. Let's go to Reed Timmer. Reed? Hey, Mike. I am just north of a circulation. I can definitely see rotating rain curtains off to the southeast. I'm about a mile south of Highway 7. And uh, the power lines are really ripping out here. Just to the south side of the road. Things like that northerly flowing into this circulation. But the rain curtains are really ripping, really rotating just to the southeast. It almost looks like condensation here and there uh, from my view. But I still can't confirm a tornadic circulation on the ground. But there is very, very strong winds. Very strong inflow into the circulation, occasional debris flying by the vehicle, and I'm right in the bear stage of this supercell, and occasionally we break through the hook. You can see southeast and see a lot of rotating rain curtains, but I'm still trying to gain visual of any condensation in here. Back to you, Mike. Okay, appreciate that. So it's still trucking eastbound. Boy, you're getting awful close to be able to see the details there. Uh, who's in the upper, uh, the quad box here? Who's in the upper... Okay, that's Dillard. Let's check out Dillard's stream here. This is the West Metro, folks. So we're going to talk about the West Metro here for a moment. This is Mark Dillard, Emily Sutton here. We've got a couple of storms here, one in Caddo County, uh, one in northwestern Canadian County. Uh, they are potentially severe, but right now no signs of any significant rotation. A lot of the storms are spinning today, but this is what's on the far western sides of the Metro, Emily and Mark Dillard, and they're monitoring this along with a couple of other trackers as well for the West Metro. So we're not at all ignoring the West Metro. Right now, the potential with these is quite a bit lower. We'll keep close track of it. If it changes, we'll update you immediately on these. Let's go to the storm tracker, back down to the tornado warn storm. So uh, the circulation here is still near 7, near Highway 7, red line, center line for Marlowe and North Duncan. So Highway 7, Highway 81, tornado warning coming out of Comanche County into Stevens County right now. Debris raining on Lawton. 
debris is raining on Lawton. Is that exactly what they say? Uh, ham, radio ham radio operator says, quote, debris is raining on Lawton, and quote, east side, east side of Lawton. All right, who's this? That's Jeremy Carter, okay. Jeremy, are you on the bridge? Go, Jeremy. This is gonna be the tornado warn storm west, southwest of Marlow. Let's go to Reed Timmer. Let's go to Reed Timmer here. Keep, keep, you got the chopper. Let's go to the chopper here. John Welsh joins us now live. And uh, John, let's get an update from you. Uh, potentially an intermittent touchdown, quite possible there east of Lawton. Where are you right now? And that's Bob Moore Chopper for closing in on that storm. Uh, there has been some flooding uh, in Lawton. There's been some large hail in Lawton. There's been some debris. Uh, there's debris falling out of the sky in eastern Lawton right now. On State Highway 7, debris falling out of the sky. And John Welsh and Bob Moore Chopper 4 is now closing in on that storm right now. Go, John. Yeah, Mike, right now we're showing you that storm. We're just south uh, and west of Lawton here shooting back. Uh, towards Geronimo, and that's that's where the uh, the lowering is. And we've kind of watched this thing go just south of the airfield, south of uh, Fort Seal, and it's pretty much moving straight east. We've been on it for about 10 to 15 minutes now, uh, and at times it looks like it's actually going to get us back together uh, and spin up. We'll get it. We'll get a pretty broad lowering coming to the ground. Uh, we're shooting it from the backside, so we can't get really as close as we normally would on the inside, just because the winds are completely different uh, on the backside of it. However, as you can see, it definitely has a structure. We've zoomed in tight. We haven't been able to identify if there's been any touchdowns. Uh, John, miles away. John, we're going to go over to Reed. It, it may be on. We're getting a lot of damage reports here. Reed may have it on the ground here. There's been a lot of damage. Trees uprooted, high tension poles down, debris falling out of the sky. East Lawton. It may be on the ground. Reed, go. Now, my there's crazy motion in this circulation. Uh, I think it's still just to the south of Highway 7. I can see the circulation with rotating rain curtains underneath it. As you can see my stream, I'm pointing east. And we've got rapid northerly just in front of the vehicle on the other side of that rapid southerly. And we're watching clouds start stop. Uh, I don't see condensation all the way to the ground, but I do see rain curtain rotating rapidly underneath this lowering. Uh, rapid, rapid rotation. Still can't confirm a tornado, but it is chaos in here. It's a lot, a lot of motion in the southern side of this storm, but we have punched through finally and have visual of the structure. So if there is a tornado in progress, we'll see it. I also see another situation to my north that places right over Highway 7. I can't confirm it because we may not have with that, but uh, it is a very low wall cloud just to the north and another circulation just to the south. So a uh, lot of motion in this storm. Definitely a tornadic storm. Back to you, Mike. Okay, this is a heads up here, certainly for you folks in Marlowe. Uh, heads up for Marlow here. So there are two there are two circulations. Let's look at the Doppler here. One on the north side of seven, one on the south side of seven. There's two there's two independent circulations here, and it, it's had a it's had a reasonably decent little trail of debris with debris coming out of the sky, tree uprooted, power pole, high tension power pole down. So there's a lot going on right here, and there easily could have been tornado touchdowns, maybe wrapped up in some form of rain. Let's go back over to Reed Timmer here, get a live update. Reed. Heads up for Marlowe for sure. You folks in Marlowe, uh, this, this could get serious really fast for Marlowe. Really fast. It's heading right for Marlowe. Go, Reed. Okay, let's go back to the storm tracker. And less than favorable conditions, as you might imagine, being underneath a tornadic supercell here. But it, it's going to get serious for Marlowe here. So red line, center line for Marlowe, and the time of arrival for Marlowe is going to be... Uh, uh, right down there at 712. So it's, uh, it's 10 till 7 right now. So we're talking uh, maybe 18 to 20 minutes from right now. So keep in mind 7 o'clock, 703, 705, that time frame, it could get really serious for Marlowe because it does appear like we've had intermittent damage back here, either from mesocyclone winds and or tornado winds. Uh, back down, there's been debris coming out of the sky, East Lawton. That's often an indication of a tornado. And it is heading right for Marlowe, pretty much red line, center line, the cone of danger right for Marlowe. Let's go back to Reed, and we also have Chance and Jeremy. Let us know if you have either one of those. Let's go to Reed's stream, check it out. And the chopper as well. Let's go to uh, Bob Moore Chopper 4, and John Welsh is right there. John? Yeah, Mike, that's the, uh, I, I believe, the north level of circulation that Reed was talking about. And then, uh, Travis, if you'll pan the camera to the right, you'll see the next decent size lowering that is uh, just starting to come about. Uh, it's probably about a mile or so, a mile and a half.